Why some men choose to marry plain Janes instead of spicy Sarahs. What's a spicy Sarah? A spicy Sarah is basically the woman that puts in effort into her hair, makeup, outfit every single day. This woman is always dressed up. You will rarely ever catch her slipping. Now the reason why men choose not to marry this woman is because... Okay, first, let's think. Why do most men want to get married anyways? The average man will want to build a family and have someone to help raise that family by cooking for them, cleaning for them, taking care of the house. Now let me ask you, when was the last time you saw a housekeeper looking like this? How do housekeepers be looking when they're coming to clean a house? They be looking like a plain Jane. He cannot visualize a spicy Sarah wanting to take on those responsibilities. Therefore, he'd rather marry a plain Hey, this is Raul of Please Act Right. First they said, if a woman is submissive, she's weak. Then they said, if a woman agrees with men, as far as what men want, she's a pick me. Now they're starting on some more bullshit. This young girl is now comparing women from being sassy Sarahs to plain Jane. When will the madness stop? But wait, there's more. She goes on to disrespect regular women who don't mind cooking and cleaning in their own households. But before we get started, you know the drill. A 30 second word from our sponsor. Thick skin is for more than just protecting against hurtful words. It also helps keep you looking young because aging turns our skin from thick and supple to thin and less elastic. Help fight wrinkles and sagging skin with multi-collagen. Multi-collagen helps improve skin texture, hydration, and skin elasticity. It's made with the top five most critical research types of collagen that support your skin against wrinkles and sagging skin. Get a bag for 51% off, plus receive several bonuses by going to healthactright.com or simply clicking on the link below. Okay, so this is part two of why some men marry plain Janes instead of spicy Sarahs. So, you know, couldn't he just marry the spicy Sarah and hire a plain Jane housekeeper then? Guys, here's the thing. If he is marrying a plain Jane and not a spicy Sarah, it's most likely because he cannot afford to maintain a spicy Sarah. A spicy Sarah is maintenance. And you just said it right there. Men, whether they have money or not, are not looking for women who are high maintenance to waste our money on. For you to marry a spicy Sarah to just hire a housemaid is maintenance. Also, a lot of men that marry plain Janes are, tend to be men that don't really like the idea of having nannies or having other people look after his kids. They want the mother to be there as a full-time mother. There are some women out there who don't mind staying at home and being a full-time mother to their children rather than having some stranger raise their children for them. And as long as the husband has the finances set up correctly, there's nothing wrong with that. But you see how society is teaching these young girls that there is something wrong with that? Which means, you know, if you're a spicy Sarah, you most likely wouldn't be able to live the lifestyle you're living at the same pace. So it's kind of easier to just marry a plain Jane, you get. And you would be absolutely right, young lady. It would be easier to marry a plain Jane because this spicy Sarah, as you call it, costs a lot of money because they're high maintenance, and chances are, their priorities with money and our children will not be in the best interest of the family because more than likely should be blowing money on a bunch of Prada Gucci nonsense. See, this is why parental guidance should be mandatory when it comes down to these young people making these videos. She's basically saying that the plain Jane type of woman is nothing more than a maid. And what's wrong with a maid? That's an honest living. When I got wind of this video, look at the numbers of likes that she got. If you can't read it, it says, 94,000 likes for basically calling a plain Jane type of woman maids. This world is going to hell on a rocket ship and the new generation is driving. Why some men choose to marry plain Janes instead of spicy Sarahs? These femininity girls are so being mean. Like they are some of the most awful people on the internet. Like they're over here making fun of plain Jane women, comparing them to housekeepers as if being a housekeeper is a bad thing, as if it's not like an honest living. Making full on videos about how like, oh my God, like men only marry them because they just cannot keep up with Spicy Sarah. As if plain Jane women aren't like worthy of having like men who love them, take care of them and provide for them. Like you don't need to have your hair done all the time and perfect skin, eyebrows, like everything to get a really good man you don't need to dress up every single day 
a lot of men don't care about that. And as women, like we shouldn't putting down the girls who don't want to do that. Like I, I'm kind of plain Jane. Like I wear makeup sometimes and you know, honestly, I just don't know how. And then I see girls like this attacking girls like me for absolutely like no reason. Like what did the plain Jane girl do to deserve it? Are you just jealous that men are marrying her? Absolutely. They are jealous because the men are marrying the plain Jane. If you look at social media, how many of these high maintenance Instagram model types do you see that are single? Damn near all of them. But when you see married couples who are doing TikToks and Instagram videos together, the majority of those women are what we would consider the plain James. And the plain James come with less entitlement and less maintenance fees. Oh, and by the way, you look great as a plain Jane, if I may say so myself. Sign me up for a plain Jane any day because those women are more grounded in reality anyway. Why some men choose to marry plain Janes instead of spicy Sarahs. So she basically goes on to say that the reason they marry plain Janes is because they can better envision plain Janes like doing housework, like cooking and cleaning, and they can't imagine a spicy Sarah like doing maid duties. From what I know, men don't choose plain Janes because they can equate a plain Jane to being a maid. They choose those plain Janes because usually plain Janes are more overall well-rounded than spicy Sarah's. Thank you. Of course, not all beautiful women are shallow. That's not what I'm saying. But they will usually marry the woman who they can relate to overall. Meaning she's not just beautiful, but she has a good personality. He um, can relate to her. She is confident. She has a good character. They're compatible in more ways than just her beauty. And that's why they typically marry these plain Janes. Message! Which, by the way, I resent that notion that somebody's a plain Jane just because they don't fit society's standards of beauty. Because what's a plain Jane to you could be a spicy Sarah to somebody else. But anyway, that's why most of the women that are married are actually average looking women. Message! Like, have you noticed that? It's because they have ov overall their character and their personality solidifies their beauty. I mean, even the Bible says that beauty is vain, but a woman who fears the Lord, she is to be praised. Another verse says, who can find a woman of noble character, a virtuous woman? She's more precious than rubies. So even the Bible affirms time and time again that it's your inner beauty that really draws people to you. Looks are not everything, contrary to popular belief. Most women that are married and have great marriages are what society would call average looking or plain Janes. Ask yourselves why. You hit the nail right on the head. Why are the plain Janes more desirable than the pretty sassy Sarah? Because sassy Sarahs are filled with entitlement. Thinking that a man should automatically spend his money on her simply because she's pretty. High maintenance, thinking that a man is supposed to spend big money on her for purses, shoes, and nonsense that has no real value. Just so she can keep up the appearance that she created in her head that she should maintain no matter what. And most of them are the lesser when it comes down to loyalty. Because in her mind, she's always thinking about how many other guys that she can get with if the guy that she's with doesn't want to give her what she wants when she wants it. Now, why would a man put up with that nonsense? We don't and we won't. When we can just get a plain Jane who values us and our money. And by the way, young lady, thank you so much for your insight. Thank God all the young ones are not contaminated. Why some men choose to marry plain Janes instead of spicy Sarahs? I think ideas like this is why we are having more and more people from this generation who are very proud about the fact that they don't cook or clean. I've been seeing a lot of videos like this that is essentially comparing women to each other and another video is outright calling other women wonder bread because they are plain and boring and too basic. And the essential idea is always saying something like, oh these unflavored basic women are being chosen to be wives because it's very easy to abuse them, it's easy to let them be the housekeeper. In the video that I stitched, the creator literally said that you cannot imagine a housekeeper looking hot. So if a man wants to choose a wife, they will choose someone that looks like a housekeeper. 
that really makes me very sad. I feel like this whole women empowerment movement is going to a very wrong direction if we keep going like this. If they keep going like this, they'll find themselves spending the rest of their lives by themselves. While women like you, who have and utilize common sense, will snatch up all the good men and have a mate for life. Cleaning and cooking are basic, essential skills that anybody should have. Men, women, X, Y, Z, whatever you are, you should have the ability to take care of yourself. But I think the overglorification of the fact that not working, not cleaning, taking care of yourself, is something that is so good. That everybody should do is really sending a wrong message to the younger generation of girls. If you think being a housewife is bad because you're practically trapped at home, I think it's equally bad for you to be a trophy sitting at home for people to come and appreciate your beauty. Best scenario in my eyes is for people to have enough choices to make the right decision for themselves. What they want to be have nothing to do with us. We should stop with these kind of comparisons and stop sending these kind of messages to young girls. Exactly. These young girls are so impressionable nowadays. They simply refuse to think for themselves. They just repeat what they hear other women saying without thinking it all the way through. I hope for any young ladies that are watching my videos, you understand that if you follow these brainwashed women into thinking that taking care of your family and your household is a bad thing, you will join the club right along with them and spending the rest of your life by yourself. Stop listening to these brainwashed women, or you'll get exactly what you deserve. Is have you ever wondered why some men choose Wonder Bread women over you? Compatibility, because you aren't entitled to shit. And when I say Wonder Bread, I'm just talking about girls who are a bit more plain, a bit more basic, average. I believe the words you're looking for is more desirable than you. And you, on the other hand, are like a divine French croissant, and you're confused. You're like, I don't get it. Why are you going for Wonder Bread when I'm right here? Confused? Well, of course you would be. You live in today's society where people are trying to impose upon men what their standards should be, while making them accept yours. It doesn't work like that. People like what they like. Get over it. If they don't like you, it's a you issue, not their issue. Man, I love this guy. <laughs> There are three reasons why this happens, and I'm gonna tell you exactly what they are. Starting with reason number one, Wonder Bread is cheaper, okay? You get a lot more value for basically half the price of a croissant. Wonder Bread is cheaper, okay? You get a lot more value for basically half the price of a croissant. Wonder Bread is cheaper, okay? You get a lot more value for basically half the price of a croissant. You fellas who don't like materialistic women, God, what's wrong with you? Really, you should be ashamed of yourselves. And even though some men might appreciate the way you look, they are going to choose Wonder Bread because she doesn't require as much money or time to impress. Look, they are going to choose Wonder Bread because she doesn't require as much money or time to impress. And how dare you ladies for being thankful for us appreciating for how you look and rather be spending time and making memories with you and love and affection instead of splashing the cash on you. You need to be more shallow. Come on, sort yourselves out, guys. Really? Shocking. Which brings me to reason number two, Wonder Bread will change herself for a man, a croissant will not, okay? Wonder Bread will become a grilled cheese, an avocado toast, a PB&J, any day of the week depending on what he wants. That sentence was why I wanted to make this video, because it was followed by this. A croissant on the other hand, it's kind of like take it or leave it, as in you might not be as willing to compromise or change your lifestyle for a guy. And that's absolutely fine by the way, you can be the croissant. If you don't want to make any lifestyle changes, if you don't want to make any sacrifices, Good for you, that's all okay, but it's no one else's problem. If another woman comes along and she does those things, then you don't have the right to crap on her and make it out like she's weak or that you're better than her. Especially when it's so ironic that you're making a video because you're annoyed with men that don't want to be your Wonder Bread. It's just insanity. That's right. Yep. And the third reason is Wonder Bread is less maintenance. Wonder Bread is less maintenance. Wonder Bread is less maintenance. Okay. Wonder Bread, you break it apart, there are no crumbs. With a croissant, a lot of crumbs, and some guys honestly don't want to deal with it. Admits to being high maintenance. But here's the thing, the people that like croissants love croissants and they don't even look at Wonder Bread. But we still choose the Wonder Bread and it seems to annoy you. <laughs> <laughs> Can we just normalize that compatibility is a thing and we don't need to crap on other people because we didn't get what we want? It's pathetic and childish. <laughs> that guy is funny. And this chick had the nerve to sit up here and try to tell all the high maintenance pretty women that there's something wrong with the men because they're not choosing them. Which of course these sassy Sarahs want the men to do all the adjusting and sacrificing while she does nothing at all. But the plain Jane women will make adjustments and sacrifices 
with their husband in order to help their relationships work. So you see where this world is going when it comes down to those type of selfish thinking women. Like the guy said, they want to try to tell men what we like or what we should like in a woman. Everything has to be catered and adjusted around them. This is why I love the internet. You get the opportunity to hear these women tell you exactly what you need to hear so you know to run in the other direction. So for all the young ladies out there watching my video, the plain Janes are going to be the women that the men choose over the high maintenance pretty girls in the end. That's why you see so many pretty older women trolling for dates on the internet. Where do I find good men? Where do you find good men? Where are all the good men at? Where a 50 year old woman like myself, where can I find a date? Ladies, let's just admit we was wrong. We was wrong. Feminism lied to us. Older women who came before us lied to us. Just, you was wrong, baby. We was wrong. Hey, somebody has to tell you, and I love you, so it might as well be me. Don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell to get notified when I post a new video. I post a new video every week. And in the meantime, will you please act right and don't listen to these new age women. They're going to have you alone and lonely. My name is Rob. See you in another video. So if you enjoyed this video, check out one of these two videos right here. I'm sure you'll enjoy them too. And if you like, you can visit my channel. I have plenty of videos there. Go ahead. Don't be scared.